Hello YouTube, this is Bob Henderson 1 and today I'm going to show you how to turn your electric instrument into a better instrument. As you can see here, I have a basic Yamaha keyboard. The model is Yamaha PSR 170. Now, um, using the MIDI cable at the back, you can like just add a lot of more sounds to your keyboard. The default keyboard will come with the basic sounds, but if you want more sounds to your keyboard, this is what you're going to do. What you'll need is a basic keyboard, uh, Apple computer with GarageBand, a set of speakers, it could be amplifiers or regular speakers, and a USB MIDI cable. Now, if you don't know what that looks like, it looks something like this. This is a USB MIDI cable. It has the standard 5 pin MIDI out, out, output and input, and then it has a MIDI cable to go into your computer. Now what you're going to do is turn on your keyboard, as I turn on mine, make sure it works. It works, so after that you go to the back of your keyboard and you look for the input and output for the MIDI cable. Now I'm just going to use my flashlight here so you guys can see it better. Um, right there are the two output and input for the MIDI cable. And as you can see there's not, not much back here. Just the power and the headphone jack, which means that it's a real basic keyboard. And right there is the MIDI out, right there. So what you're going to do is take a USB MIDI cable and read where it says MIDI out. And you're going to take the MIDI outside and plug it into the MIDI out of your keyboard. Just give me a second while I do that. Okay, now that you've done that, you want to take the USB of the MIDI cable and plug it to your computer. As you can see, I'm taking this and I'm going to plug it to the side of my computer. Doesn't matter which USB input, just make sure it's plugged into your computer. If you don't have a MIDI USB, you can buy it off of eBay, that's where I bought mine. And it's only about $5 plus shipping. So it shouldn't be too much. Next, we're gonna, what you're going to do is open up your um, laptop and go onto the application GarageBand, which I'm going to do right now. Go along GarageBand. And right there. Okay, on your USB MIDI, it should have some kind of signal showing that it's connected. Like mine just has this red thing right there. That means it's not correctly connected, so I'm going to switch it. I'm going to switch the input at the back of the keyboard. With the other one. And as you can see now, there's a blue light. There's a blue light flashing which indicates that there's a good connection. Now, back to the computer. What you want to do is open up GarageBand, as I have done, and then click New Project. It's most likely better to do the piano. And wait for it to load up. And there you go. Now, it should be working. What you're going to do is click this little button down here that says add a little arrow down there. It's going to pop, you're going to bring this menu and you click software instrument and you click create. Now you're going to have two pianos, you can delete one track and from here you go onto the list and pick whatever instrument you want. Okay, from the menu of instruments, you're going to pick pianos and keyboards, and then from there, you're going to pick grand piano. And then go back to your keyboard to see if it works. So I'm going to play my keyboard. And on there, there should be some kind of um, bar, that bar right there, that's going to show that there's a sound coming from the MIDI input. That's right there in the USB port. 
So as I play, you should see the bar come up and down. You saw that, that green? Shows that the connection works. Okay, now that we're sure the connection works, what I'm going to do is click Command, Up, and K to bring the on-screen um, keyboard. And enlarge that. And as you play on your keyboard, as I play on my keyboard, it's gonna indicate, gonna show the keys that I'm playing. Like I'm playing C right now, and it shows that highlighted on the computer. I'm gonna play D. I'm gonna play um, what is this? C D E. No, C D E. I'm gonna play E. And it just keeps going up. Like and it doesn't show all the octaves, but still basically the same. Now in doing this you just skip a lot of that trouble they gave you like in Best Buy when they connect the keyboards and all that you don't really need all that this is my way of doing this. Now the whole reason why we're doing this is to enhance the amount of sounds and instruments you have on your keyboard. So on this list of instruments you pick whatever you want. What I'm gonna pick right now is synth. So I'm gonna go to synth basics and click Constellation. Now, on your keyboard, make sure that you turn the sound knob not all the way down, but about halfway down. Like that. So it's not all the way down. And then on your Mac, you want to raise the volume up. And that's the part where the speakers come in. Okay, for my speakers, let me just close this for now. I am going to plug in my computer to my amplifier to get a big sound for you guys to hear it. So, Hold on while I do this. Just give me a second here. Um, you can use any cable that goes into an amp or speaker. I'm just using my amp. Uh, I think I tangled around this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is plug in one end of the adapter into the input of the amp. Just going to plug that. And I'll plug that in. And then plug in the input to the output for your earphones on your Mac. As I have done. And you should be set. And then what you want to do is turn on your speaker or your amp. Make sure the volume isn't too loud. Just put it halfway. Alright. Yeah. You're gonna open up back your computer and test the volume by touching your speakers. Lower that a little bit. Alright. Now that we got the synthesizers and everything set up, you're gonna go to your keyboard and you're gonna play. And listen as the synthesizers come in. You're gonna play C. I don't know if you heard that or not. I'm gonna raise it a little louder. I'm gonna play it again. It's coming out from my amp. It's gonna indicate on there as I play C. And that's how you use the synthesizers on here. And from doing that, you can use just any instrument on that's on here. For example, drum kits, guitars, mallets, horns, just about anything on here that you really want to use. I'm trying Fontalina Fits. That sounds so nice. Um, go to Co2 chords. Just a bunch of stuff you could do on here. Or nose bass, or bra or nose brass. <laughs> The Negro bass. It's just a bunch of stuff you could do on here, so just use the synthesizers and have fun. And that's how to use synthesizers on your keyboard. And also remember, if you don't like how it sounds, you can always edit it from the edit tab on here.
you can change the echo that usually comes with all of them because they all come with echoes so you can turn all of those off just customize it the way you want and you have synths on your keyboard which you never thought you would have and that's it